hello everyone this is my second video on entity framework core and here i am going to show you crud operation using entity framework core let's create a console application Now I am going to install some packages. Microsoft Entity Framework Core SQL Server. Install. It will take some time. working I accept now related DLL files will automatically start it install okay done now I am going to add another package Microsoft dot entity framework core dot tools this one install accept <clears throat> okay okay done now I am now I am going to take an object named student add class student okay make it public now I'm going to take some properties public user id get set public string name public string role okay let's <coughs> let's take a uh, context class add class student context add public db context microsoft dot entity framework core
public db set student students get set <coughs> let's add connection string override on configuring remove this one options builder dot use sql server okay here is my connection string and my student db this is my database name okay this part is done now i am going to add a migration tools i guess manager console add migration student migration yeah, enter okay <coughs> migration done here we can see a folder name migrations this is my student migration and this is the snapshot okay now i'm going to create my database update database space verbos press enter it's working okay done now open sql server refresh database part here is my table my student db students table let's open this here i can see three columns id name role go to student class i take three properties id name role okay now i am going to start CRUD operation go to program.cs <coughs> create student generate method this line no need bar student equal new student name rahat role 001 context oh sorry private static <coughs> student context context equal new students dot at student save context save changes okay now run this project let's see what happened okay done open database and ref execute sql okay A student is inserted in into my database table 
so create a student done now I want to retrieve a student method okay bar students equal context dot student dot to list for each right line student dot name console read line <coughs> now run Rahat okay retrieve done now I want to update this student make another method update student generate method for student well context dot student dot first dot default student dot name equal new name sub peer context dot save changes now run this project okay done open database and execute sql so name become change update done now i am going to delete this student student create method student equal context students pass dot default start name sub peer context students remove student context save changes okay run open db and execute sql <laughs> delete done so crude operation is done if you like this video then please subscribe so that you can see my upcoming videos on entity framework core thank you